What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> Cat's uh, having fun with the reusable grocery bag there. Today we're gonna be doing a uh, grocery haul video. Now this is $50 worth, okay? It was almost 50 ex exactly. I think there's some change above that, right? So it's like $50 and change, but pretty close. And this is from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. So what can you get for 50 bucks? Now obviously if, if you're buying stuff from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, Trader Joe's is a little better, Whole Foods is a little more expensive, but if you're buying stuff from there, 50 bucks is not gonna feed you for the week. We all know that. Let's not try to fool anybody, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but you can still get some good stuff for 50 bucks. So let's take a look and see what we got here. We'll start with uh, most of what you're seeing here is my breakfast for the week. Um, lots of organic bananas. We got five bundles of bananas. Uh, now this is just for myself, obviously. So I'm gonna be eating about a bundle a day for breakfast. Um, did buy some ginger mints here just because I like to take these running with me just because they, um, you know, when it gets hot, I don't want to be carrying water or anything like that. So it's a good way to keep my mouth wet, basically. These uh, coconut date rolls here. Got those because I like to blend usually a couple in with my uh, bananas for my smoothie in the morning. <clears throat> okay. And some... I've never had these guys. These guys are uh, from Argentina. Some kind of organic pear. They're very long and skinny compared to like the, um, what do you call those? Danju or whatever the hell you get at the regular store. Couple of these um, Adolfo mangoes, the smaller ones. Although these ones are actually pretty big. I mean, look at that. They're basically as big as the, the pear there. Got some pinata apples. These were at Trader Joe's. Uh, the other stuff that I showed you so far, aside from the mints, has been at Whole Foods. Um, so, pinata apples, they're supposed to be good. I've never had them, we'll see. They're supposed to be pretty sweet. Sweet is good. Now these guys, oh wait, before I touch on those guys, just dried cranberries. I like to put that in my, if I'm having like granola or, um, oatmeal or something like that put those guys in there so these guys I've had before I haven't had them since I lived in Portland so it's been a couple years they're the really fucking expensive mangoes that come out like once a year and I um, last time I got them they were I believe $4.99 each so you, you know you would be looking at $20 worth of mangoes here um, however Maybe, and I'm not sure if it's because it's early in the season and there's an abundance of them, but they were two for five. So I did end up buying four of them. I'm gonna keep two for myself, but I wanna give one to my daughter because I know she likes mangoes and um, I owe somebody else a mango as well. So 10 bucks for the mangoes alone. So basically that's a big chunk of your $50 there. I know I get that, but damn it, these guys are worth it. These are the best mangoes you're ever gonna have. I'm gonna zoom in on the picture here so you can see what it is. So if you see them at Whole Foods, you'll know which ones to buy. And they're actually, this one not so much, but these other three are ripe and good to go. Blueberries for smoothies as well, so I can throw that in with the bananas and the dates. Say hi to YouTube, kitty. All right, now we'll move on. Oh, sorry, no, I missed this. I did buy myself a little drink for the ride home, actually. Um, and this was a few bucks as well, so I like those things. All right, moving on, moving on. We got some garlic and herb pizza dough. I figure I'm gonna make, I, I do um, falafel pizza. I don't know if any of you guys ever do that, but it's just like a regular vegan pizza, you know, lots of veggies, lots of sauce. I'd throw all that stuff on there, but instead of any kind of meat substitute or anything like that, I just put like little falafels on there. It's fucking good. It's really good. Um, now this one, obviously it has the V. It says right on the back here, vegan. Some, some of them, you know, you gotta watch because they might have egg or they might have some other ingredient in there, but this one from Trader Joe's is vegan and it's a $1.19. $1.19 for this. They also have a, uh, whole wheat one and then just a plain one as well so good deal there vegetable masala burgers uh, these are quite good probably not the healthiest thing in the world because I'm sure they have like some oil and stuff in them let me see 
a little bit of canola oil, yeah. There's the stats though. Eight grams of fat for one, so, you know, not something you're gonna wanna eat every day, but when you need something quick, it's a good option. When you have more time though, you can use something like this uh, curry simmer sauce, boil up, or not boil up, but uh, simmer some potatoes and some vegetables in this, and then spread it over some uh, basmati rice. It's good stuff. This one, vegan, again. Uh, this guy doesn't have the vegan logo, but I've been buying this guy for years. Thai green curry simmer sauce. I know it's vegan because I've checked it multiple, multiple times. Brussels sprouts, I always get these when I'm at Trader Joe's. They're like 99 cents per bag, super cheap. They're actually from Belgium. The best Brussels sprouts I've ever had, even though they're frozen. No, no, that's not true. I've had some fresh ones that were better. But these are a close second. They're really good. Spinach for the smoothies, or just to eat in general. Um, but that's it. So all that was $50. And that, that's not really that bad, in my opinion. So what do you guys think? For 50 bucks, is that a good deal or is that a bad deal? That'll cover at least breakfast for the entire week plus some other stuff like with the the curry stuff and and all that so not bad um anyway guys thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button post your comments and questions down below until next time guys take care